Hey there, I'm Liam, aka Brickster, and welcome back to Mock Mondays. Today I have the third in a series of Lego Spider-Man buildings that I've been creating to kind of create like a whole Spider-Man street scene. I'll show you it combined with those uh, in a little bit. But first, let's take a closer look at this building, Ghost Rider's Garage. As you can see, Ghost Rider's Garage is the smallest Spider-Man building yet. It's only two stories tall. It's however wider than all the other buildings so far have been. As I go and make these Spider-Man buildings, I'm kind of imagining them as if they would be actual sets. That means that they would have a limited number of minifigures. So for this set, my guess is that it would be in the 50 to $60 uh, price range. Not totally sure, might be more, but who knows. Anyhow, the four minifigs that it would include would be Ghost Rider, since it's his garage, here we have Tombstone as the villain. Um, this is MJ as Spider-Woman back here. And finally, we would have Gabe down here. Uh, I think that's his name at least, who is Ghost Rider's, Robbie Ray is Ghost Rider's younger brother. Um, this is the Robbie Reyes version of Ghost Rider. Anyhow, these other civilian minifigures could maybe be sold in a separate uh, set. Here, you can see there's a lot of vines. That's because when I was building this, I was like, okay, this building is just too boring and brown. I really need to spice it up a bit. With these buildings, it's a tricky balance between making them look lifelike versus also making them like the whole street look, you know, visually um, appealing. We have some really fun details like this air conditioning unit and the cool Ghost Rider mural on the garage door. I'll pull off some of these minifigures here so that you can see the function with that in a minute. These windows are actually built sideways. This whole section across here is built sideways um, to give them kind of a distinct look from all the other buildings. All of these buildings are created in a modular style. So upper stories can come up and reveal what's inside. This guy in the kind of hallway here is just someone I made up. I just wanted to put someone random and kind of fun looking in this dark corridor and he kind of fit that description. I had originally made him for Ninjago, but it was like, yay, why not? So in here is the actual garage itself. You can see a bunch of different tools for fixing cars and such up here on the wall. Lots of different little fun details that make it feel really authentic. And of course, chains. Ghost Rider needs chains. So uh, yeah, here they are. So this garage door can actually open up. If you just press in on here, it comes up. I actually got that door technique from YouTuber Tiago Caterino. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Go check out his channel. He makes some really awesome tutorials. The second story has two rooms. First off, there is Ghost Rider's like living room here. He's got his sofa, some pizza and donuts, and a big nice TV there. This secret room includes like this little um, version of you know the classic red string for tracking people down, as well as just some random posters. So the third story adds on all of the vines as well as the battle on the rooftop. Here we have MJ as Spider-Woman. I actually used some parts from Miles Morales and just some other parts there to create her. We have Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes. He comes in a Ghost Rider uh, car set. And um, finally we have Tombstone here. And he is a completely custom minifigure. I used some pieces from Ninjago, like the hair and head, as well as that torso from a gangster in a collectible minifigure series. So yeah, that's the rooftop battle. I tried hard to create some really cool, um, you know, power effects with all the different colors and I think it turned out really nicely. So here's the deli combined with the previous two Spider-Man buildings, Miles' apartment and Del Mar's deli. Now I think that it fits with them really well. It adds some nice height variation um, which I think really helps to give the street a richer feel and it also brings some nice green to the street So let me know what you think about it down in the comments below If you enjoyed, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because in the coming weeks I'll be uploading even more spider-man buildings Until next time keep on building peace